James here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you an easy finger picking version of Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Now this one uses a really simple ascending and descending finger picking style like you'd find in a lot of ballads from this era like Unchained Melody and you know songs like that. The chord shapes there's quite a few but they're not that tricky. It's the same as the strumming version of this so if you've learned that you already know the chord shapes. And if you need any help along the way, I have a free ebook that goes over all the basics of chords and strumming. I have a finger picking course, finger picking mastery that goes over everything finger style and it's a very beginner friendly course. You know, it doesn't require anything aside from being pretty comfortable with the chord shapes, you know, just because we're talking all about finger picking. And um, so you can check either of those out if you need any extra help. Info on all that stuff down below. Anyways, let's get started now with the chord shapes. First we have a C chord. Then we have E minor. Then A minor. And this one's C over G. And that's just like a C chord, except my ring finger, instead of being on the A string, is on the thickest string at the third fret. Then we have the easy F chord, and we can leave our first finger down for that one. Then we switch to C and G. So that's six chord shapes just to play the verse for this song. But there are a couple tricks that you can do to make it a little bit easier. You know, we start off on C, we leave our middle finger down, and we can pivot into E minor. We leave our middle finger down again, and we can pivot into A minor. Then we only have to move our ring finger to get to C over G. And then we can leave our first finger down, and we can play easy F. Then we can leave our first finger and our ring finger down and get into the C chord. And then finally for G, I'm using an easy version where I just put my ring finger up to the thickest string, and then my pinky. You don't even have to press it since we're finger picking. We only need to press certain strings, but it is a good habit to play the complete chord shape, especially if you accidentally hit that string, it'll still sound good because it's from the right chord shape. So those are some tips. You know, ultimately, even though it's six chord shapes, that makes the switching a lot simpler. Anyways, let's put that to use now. Let's just play downstrokes gently with our thumb. And we can practice the chords in order, counting out loud, starting off on C. One, two, one, two. One, two, 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 one, two. And don't worry if there's any weird sounds or anything. We're going to be picking particular strings. So all those excess strings won't be making any noise. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So make sure you can do that, counting one, two, out loud as you play through the chord shapes. You can just rewind it, try it as many times as you need to. And then we can add the finger picking to that. Now the basic pattern goes like this. I'm on a C chord. First thing we need to discuss is finger placement. My thumb is on the A string, and then my fingers are on the D, G, and B strings. And they're going to be on there for like 99% of the song. There's just one chord where they have to move over later in the tune. And our thumb is going to be following the root, which will either be on the A string or the E string. We'll discuss that in a second. For now, let's just get this pattern. We're starting with our thumb and we're just ascending. Thumb, index, middle, and then we come back. Ring, middle, index. And with the counting, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a. Uh. 
Now when we switch to the E minor shape, our thumb is going to follow the root. It's going to go to the thickest string, but our fingers stay in the same spot, and we go one and a, uh, two and a. Uh. And you're going to be able to see where the root is, you know, which string your thumb plucks in the tab at the top of the screen. But basically, they're mostly on the A string, except for E minor is on the thickest string, G is on the thickest string, and then that C slash G chord is also on the thickest string. Otherwise, they're all on the A string. So let's just, I'm going to play through it. You can always just watch this happen, see how it goes, and then try it with me after if you're unsure. Or you can just try it right away. To make sure we can do it smooth and steady, I'm going to set my metronome to 96. One and a two and a. So that's the verse. Now the next section, the bridge, requires three additional chord shapes. There's a B7 chord. And for that one, we don't really need to get the top string. So if it's a bit much for you, you just need to get the second fret of A, the first fret of the D string, and then the second fret of the G string. And we get those, it's like a little triangle that we're making with our fingers. Make sure you curl them enough so that the open B string can ring out. And we basically switch between E minor and B7 three times, so I recommend working on that switch as much as you need to to get used to it. Then we have E minor to A7, and A7 is just the second fret of the D string and the second fret of the B string. And there's also a D minor chord in here. So before we add the finger picking pattern, let's just practice the chord shapes using downstrokes only, nice and slow. One, two, one, two. So try that as many times as you need to until the chord shapes are working out and you can count along one, two, to the whole thing. And then we can add the picking pattern. And for the new chord shapes, B7, the root is on the A string. For A7, the root is on the A string, you know? So once again, for the most part, the roots are gonna be on the A string. But then the D minor chord, everything's a little bit different for that. We have to move the entire thing over so that we're on the top four strings. So my thumb is on the D string, my index is on G, my middle is on B, and then my ring finger is on the thinnest string. And that might take a little bit of getting used to, so I recommend playing the A7 chord, even just plucking it like this, you know, with our thumb on A and then our fingers above it. And then we switch to, when we switch to D minor, we move all our fingers over and we pluck that. So just going back and forth. Just like that, just to get used to it. You know, switching the chord and following the chord shape as we, you know, moving our fingers. And you could even go from D minor to G. You know, because that's a bit different too. And then once you're comfortable with that, we can try putting it all together, starting off on E minor. One, 
and a two. So those are all the components. All that's left to do is put this song together. And this is one of those old fashioned songs where it's really straightforward. We play the verse two times. So verse one, verse two. Then we play the, the bridge. Then we have verse three. And then we have the bridge again. Then we have the fourth and final verse. And then we have the ending. And the ending is just the last line of the verse. You know, the I can that part. We just play that part two times to end the song, basically. So this one's really straightforward. And now I recommend listening to the original recording with all of that in mind. You could write out the chord order. You've practiced out all the sections. And now when you listen to it, you'll have a new set of ears. You know, you'll be able to hear things and kind of put it together in a different way than when you were just a listener. You know, now you're a performer, you're a part of it. So please give the original recording a listen with all this newfound knowledge. That'll help you learn to keep your place in the song, you know, keep track of where you are and be able to put it all together. If you want a full playthrough video where I play through the song from start to finish, just like we learned in this lesson, that's available for members of my Patreon page. There's more info on that down below. Don't forget to check out my free ebook, which covers all the basics, you know, all the chord switching stuff. I have a complete beginner's course, which does that like a hundred times over from absolute beginner to confident strummer. And I have my finger picking course, finger picking mastery for learning songs like this and a bunch more, you know, getting into Travis picking, learning songs like Landslide and Blackbird and all that sort of stuff. So please check out those if you'd like to help support the channel. If you have a question, you can always leave a comment down below. I try my best to answer them. I get a lot of comments, so it is tough, but I spend like a day and I answer them all at once. So, you know, please ask down below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.